United Health Group is an American multinational managed healthcare and insurance company based in Minnetonka, Minnesota. Among the middlemen tasked with making today's healthcare efficient and cost effective, United Health Group is the largest healthcare company in the United States and Canada by revenue. United Health Group generates revenue from a variety of sources, including premiums on risk based products, fees from various services, sales on healthcare products and services, and investments. United Health Group is the world's seventh largest company by revenue and the largest healthcare company by revenue and the largest insurance company by net premiums. United Healthcare revenues comprise 80% of the group's overall revenue. The company is ranked 5th on the 2022 Fortune 500 and 11th on the 2022 Fortune Global 500. United Health Group has a market capitalization of 400.7 billion US dollars as of 31st March 2021. Chatham Med Incorporation was founded by Richard Taylor Burke in 1974. Three years later, United Healthcare Corp was created and acquired Chartered Man. The company's name was changed in 1998 to United Health Group, and through a strategic realignment, United Healthcare became one of six independent but linked businesses operating under the United Health Group banner, which also included AmeriChoice, Ovations, Uniprice, Ingenix and specialized care services. Each business segment provided its unique services. AmeriChoice focused on consumers enrolled in Medicare and other government-sponsored programs. Ovations provided services to Americans 50 years and older. Uniprice offered administrative services to self-insured companies. Ingenix provided software and information services to doctors and other healthcare professionals. And specialized care services was a collection of specialty business subsidiaries offering specific health and wellness benefits such as chiropractic, dental, vision, life, accident, and critical illness plans. United Healthcare was an HMO with almost 8 million individuals, small business and mid-sized business members. In 2002, United Health Group's net income climbed 48% to $1.38 billion on a revenue increase of 6.7% of to $25 US dollars By 2003, the company had grown to become the largest health insurer in the United States, providing services, coverage and products that affected more than 40 million consumers. Despite its business diversification, and solid financial standing, some analysts were questioning the quality of the company's earnings, which were partly based on double-digit premium increases and the sustainability of its growth in a healthcare environment that some Wall Street insiders believed was heading toward a fall. United Health is feeding 380,000 employees mainly serves fee-based domestic insurance, supporting 51 million healthcare insurance globally. Working capital is negative right now, as current liabilities are higher than the current assets. We have Max here today, who have been managed 30 million US dollar portfolio before, and he also have developed 1,000 quant algorithm for the masses as well. So Max, what do you think about United Health Group? From the data uh, for the past one year, United Health Group, uh, United Health Group, is on an uptrend. And then, if you were to invest one year ago, uh, you actually gain about four point two percent, four point two percent gain. Um, for the if let's say you were to hold buy and hold United United Health Group from the starting from nineteen eighty four, okay, um, until now you gain. Uh, more than three hundred seventy three thousand percent. Okay, in fact, um, if let's say, okay, to be exact, if you were to invest one thousand dollar since nineteen eighty four until today, your one thousand guess how much is your one thousand worth today? Uh, it will be worth more than three point seven million dollar. Okay, three point seven million dollar. Okay, if you if you were to invest since uh, nineteen eighty four. Okay, for the past one year, 
um, S and P five hundred, which uh, United Health Group is one of the component of S S and P five hundred, and also a component in Dow Jones Index. Again, S and P five hundred for the past one year declined more than nineteen percent, and Dow Jones Index declined more than nine percent. Okay, and United Health Group group gain for the past year one year uh, four more than four percent four point two percent. If let's say if you were to use the um, day trading, okay, day trading method, okay, by using one of our quant algorithm, uh, your money actually double, okay, day trading. Of course, um, it, it, uh, day trading that means you uh, with if you were to do it manually, it will be more a bit taxing. If you were to use a uh, program to do automated system to do, uh, it will be easier for you. Of course, with some reason, this is the, this is I would say this is um, more like a, a high, more aggressive method, more aggressive method. Uh, if let's say you want use even a more conservative method, okay, uh, it, you will gain also about eighteen percent, okay, by using the quant algorithm automated system day trading method to do it automatically. Yeah, thank you, Max, for sharing. If you want to learn more about investment from Max on how to use his quant algorithm in order to, like, in a way that, like, what he shared earlier, it can be catered to your risk appetite. Like, let's say if you want to gain higher return, then perhaps, yeah, definitely you need to take higher risk, right? Then it's possible. Then if you want to take lower risk, and then you will, you, you, you will need to manage your expectation, they will get lower return, then that's possible as well. So if you want to learn more about how this highly customized quant algorithm um, that is available, if you want to learn more about it, please join Max webinar here, or you can straight away schedule one-on-one -on -one consultation that I have shared uh, the link here. Like please visit maximumvalue.com slash schedule to schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment. Okay? Uh, that is all from us today. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. See you next time.